What's up guys, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. We got another Q&A session. Uh, and this is from, what was his name? Steve Victoria, Australia. Okay, hi Tony, thank you for your VIP course and ongoing support. I have a 64 and a half Mustang, which looks like this over here, guys. Uh, well, this is a 66, um, which is in surprisingly good condition. The body is straight, and apart from aligning the panels, there are no major body work required. However, the car has been converted to RHD, real rear, rear right-hand drive, because we drive on the left-hand side in Australia, and one of the guards is not original. So it has been repaired from what it looks like a minor repair. All of this has resulted in an overall poor look for the vehicle's paint job. The roof, rear panels, doors, and one guard look like the original paint, which I assume to be enamel. The repaired guard and the work done for the right-hand drive conversion appear to be finished poorly with base coat and clear coat. I do not want to take the entire vehicle back to metal if I can avoid it. You don't have to. I don't intend to do a color change and will keep the original color. I'm not looking for a concourse show job as this vehicle is going to be my daily drive, but I do want it looking good. When I spoke to my local paint shop and asked them for some advice, they said it would be okay to use a base coat clear coat over the existing enamel. This seems to conflict with your advice in the VIP course. However, given that if it is original paint, it has been there for more than 50 years, now it looks like it could be quite stable to paint over with base and clear. I have, an, I have attached some pictures, some pictures of the worst that I have to deal with, so I would appreciate your advice. So here is the car here. Okay, so there must be a miscommunication that you got from the VIP course because I never said that you can't paint over old paint, okay? Uh, a single stage enamel, like, you can. What the paint shop told you is 100% correct. You could paint base coat, clear coat over a single stage enamel. Actually, single stage enamel epoxies, primers, and base coat, clear coat, clear coat are great foundations to paint base coat, clear coat over. Okay, so there must have been a miscommunication when you were going through some of the program there, but you can safely paint over single stage enamel with base coat, clear coat. Um, it might have been where I was talking about lacquer, lacquer paint, okay? You don't want to paint lacquer paint over any of this because it's going to end up having an issue, okay? Lacquer is the killer, the old school lacquer paint, okay? That might have been the mistake. Uh, so looking at the car here, it doesn't look bad at all. I would just use a 320 grit sandpaper. Is that all the pictures you got? Oh, I would use a 320 grit sandpaper, dry sand, and just go over the whole car, get it nice and smooth, prime what you have to prime, and then finish it off with 400 grit uh, before your base coat, clear coat. Um, I think the car is in pretty good condition if you ask me. This doesn't look bad here. This looks like it'll flatten out once you start sanding it with the DA. So all you wanna do is get your DA and just get it nice and flat, okay? Um, if you wish to prime over this, you could put a 2K primer over the whole thing, but from what I'm hearing, you don't wanna to put too much time or money into the car. So what I would do is just sand it down with a 320 and then you could even go down as, well, you should at least go down uh, at least to a 400 grit. So start with the 320 or 280 to get to cut off the grime, okay? To get down and cut through the paint to get it nice and flat. Then I would finish off with a 400, uh, even four to 600 dry sand or wet sand. I prefer wet sanding, uh, but if you wanna go with the dry sanding, you could go with dry sanding. And if you have any metal spots that show, you wanna make sure to prime that with a 2K primer and then finish that off with a 400 before you paint. You don't want to be painting your base coat or clear coat or any kind of paint over metal, ideally, okay? You could, if it's a small area, like a half inch or an inch of metal showing, you could get away with it, but I really don't recommend painting directly over large pieces of metal with just paint. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps out. Uh, let me know how your project goes, send us some photos, and again, guys, if you're watching this video as a first timer, click the top right of this video or right over here to get a free 85 page auto body booklet right over here. You can download it or in the description down below on YouTube, post your comments, 
Like the video, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't, and uh, leave your questions down below. Hopefully this helped you out. Uh, talk to you soon. Have a great, great, great day. Bye.